Hey guys, what's up? It's Shao Style, or Joe the Editor, however you know me as. Another fucking random video, man. These videos are truly random, I never really have a fucking plan to make any of this shit. I just like, whatever comes to mind, I like think about it, then I just make a video. Also depending on like what I'm doing. Today is laundry day for me, so yeah, obviously while I'm waiting for my fucking laundry to be done, I just make a video, right? Fucking, why not? Anyways. I figured I share some experience because that's basically all my fucking videos are. They're just experience. If you take everything I say, like it's the way to get things done or to reach any goal that you're trying to go after, then yeah, I'm, you may be disappointed, right? Because I mean, obviously, what works for me may not work for you. So you know, just take what I say as as a little push, like a little motivation, advice, right? That's it. <laughs> so, anyways, um, one thing I experience that. Uh, you may experience as well as when you start your freelance work is that people around you will not understand exactly how important it is for you to get started or to like work on your personal projects, right? You kind of like, now you're like there reading, you're, you are know, working on your projects, you're doing your research and all that shit. And like, uh, there's probably, the next thing you know, you have somebody knocking on your door and be like, hey, can you do me a favor? Can you like take out the trash? You're like, yeah, what the fuck? Leave me alone. Or like, hey, can you do me a favor? Can you go check the mail? You know, all that shit. You're like, no, leave me alone. I'm working on my fucking projects here hey can you do me a favor you're you know it's like sometimes people they don't understand what you're going f for what your goals are and like you know it's like you don't i mean i'm not telling you to be a dick about it but like there are times you kind of like to let people know like hey you know what you re i really need to get this done and you need to like you know leave me alone for a bit you know because uh i experienced that you know it's just like obviously i'm working from home it's very easy for you know whoever's living at the house or my girlfriend to be like, hey, since you're home, can you do this? Oh, since you're home, can you do that? And it's like there have been moments where I got a little upset and be like, no, I need to get something done. I'm working on my own personal projects, you know. And it's just like they may not see the importance of it because you know they're like, oh, it's just a hobby. You can stop and doing what you're doing. But you know, if it's something really important to you, you, you gotta like set some standards and like make it clear that you know your time is very important on what you're doing at the moment, right? I guess the problem that I made is, or the error that I made is just, I made myself way too available for other people, you know, I just I had no problem helping people out when they need it, you know, and it's just always been the the one where they call it. When you need a favor, then you, people will come towards me, right? And like, like I mentioned in a past video, I got to a point where like I had to tell people to go fuck themselves because it was almost like weekly and nearly daily the people were starting to like ask for, you know, some editing help or then you want me to like do some VFX work or whatnot and it just, you know, obviously I just couldn't do it. <laughs> could I? Oh yeah, of course I could have. But the thing is like, you know, they, I was helping other people get their shit done for their school projects and whatnot, but I was getting fuck all jack shit and like, not only that, they didn't offer any money, just a thank you or here's a credit and it's like, you know, fuck your thanks and your credit, <laughs> you know, it's just, you know, I just reached a point of like, if I'm not going to make any money, then I'd rather just work on my own personal projects on something that, you know, I feel I benefit more, right? And yeah, it got annoying, you know, it's just like, I didn't feel used, you know, I just created an environment that I just made myself too available for other people, but not for myself and, you know, again, and all you got myself to blame for that, right? So that being said, if you have a pretty strict work schedule that like, you know, by the time you get home, you, I don't know, whether you have kids or you have a relationship or, you know, whatever your situation is, you know, you got to like uh, make some priorities for yourself and be like, okay, during this day or this time or like at this hour of the day, then I'm just sitting around doing uh, your, my own personal work, you know, you got to like set some like goals, right? It may be tough, you know, I'm still trying to find time to, you know, start going to the gym more often, you know, and it, you know, and it's, I recently started going to the gym and like, it, you know, finding that rhythm of like, okay, around this time, don't bother me. And it, it has happened, <laughs> you know, it's like I'm at the gym, then like, I don't know, say the girlfriend wants to call and starts talking to me and then like I tell her like, dude, I don't want to talk right now. And she like get upset because I tell her I don't want to talk and it's like, I'm, you know, doing something that, you know, I want to do, which is, you know, go to the gym and work out. And obviously I don't want to talk right now that much, you know, unless it's an emergency. So, you know, shit like that. And just, you know, I had my parents the same thing call me and like ask for a favor. And it's like, dude, leave me alone right now. I just, I want to work on something, you know? So anyways, it's just one of those things you got to like, you know, let people know like, hey, I need my time. I need my space. Please respect that. Maybe they don't see how important it is because, you know, they don't understand exactly what you're doing. You know, because, you know, if you're not stuck in an office or you're not fucking digging a ditch somewhere, you know, breaking your back or some shit. Maybe they don't consider it work, but, you know, what I do on my free time, I do consider it work and I'm passionate about it. And I like improving my skills. I like, you know, learning how to edit faster. I like, you know, learning more about 3D and animation and whatnot. You know, that's just, you know, what I like to do. Obviously, I can't improve my skills if I'm like uh, being interrupted all the damn time. So, so that being said, also, just to end this video, definitely make your 
set your times, you know, let people know that, you know, they need to uh, respect your time and, you know, you got to do what you got to do. But at the same time, don't forget to make time for other people as well that are important, right? If you have kids, if you have a relationship, you know, or if you have like someone that you're taking care of, obviously, you know, set a time you know, during the day, do what you got to do to work, you know, on your personal projects. And then like, you know, once you feel you have enough, then, you know, go back to you know, spending time with your kids or your family or whomever or whomever you are taking care of, right? Because, uh, yeah, from my experience, I've, as long as I work daily consistently, around the same time doing something consistently and keep it moving, um, I've basically advanced more by doing something daily rather than getting a bunch done in one day, right? And then, like, jack off for, like, the rest of the week. So, yeah. Anyways, value your time. Make sure other people value your time as well. And, like, yeah, don't be a dick or a vagina or whatever. Anyways, that's all I got for you. Take care and peace.